What's up YouTube? Uh, back again. This is my last day of fishing until I start working and I start working tomorrow. So we're going to be going again trying to get that last muskie, that first muskie I should say, of my, of my entire life. So this is the last day I can do it until for a while. So let's hope for some good fishing today. Alright guys, so we're heading out back out to the lake. I just got my food, ready to do some fishing. Hopefully today's the day I catch my muskie. All right, guys, we're here at the lake, just making sure the boat's all set, and we have everything together and all my gear in the boat, and I'm making very sure this time that I am not forgetting to put this little, this little thing in. Yeah, this thing's definitely going in the boat today, guys. I'm not forgetting it. I come back into the dock, guys, and I see this absolutely, I don't even know what to call it, disemboweled crappy here. I don't know why, it's, what the heck it's doing here, but that thing's huge. All right, guys, we're on the boat, but really cool thing I never realized that I could do with my boat that I just realized now is you'll be able to live on your boat and you don't plan on keeping any fish or even really using it. Your live walk back is a perfect cooler, so I just threw all my freaking Gatorades in there and everything, and you just fill it up with water and it could act as a pretty good cooler. I mean, this is, I mean, the, the inside of it is made to basically cool the water and keep it at a constant temperature, so why this might as well. All right, guys, so I'm gonna get some fishing done here. Let's see if today's the day I get my first muskie. Hopefully it is. Wow, guys, so I thought I had a muskie for the first time ever. It literally felt like a muskie. The way it hit and the way it pulled, it felt like a muskie, but really nice bass I got on, a, on, a, on the red spinner bait right here, the red Strike King spinner bait with the trailer hook. Uh, he actually unhooked himself, so made it nice and easy for me to release him. But still, nice bass. Uh, didn't expect a nice bass. It's always nice to catch a fish nice and early here. Uh, he's probably about, a, I wanna say, pound and three quarters, maybe two pounder. So. Really nice to have a nice fish. We're gonna let this guy go and hope the next one's a muskie. All right, get in there, buddy. I got a fish, guys. I got a fish on, guys. Oh, we got a bass. Small little largemouth bass. Not a musky, but fish is a fish. Fish is a fish. Oh my god, I got one. What the heck is this? It's a bass. Wow, I freaking... What? It's a fish. I don't know what it is, though. Oh, it's a, it's a bass. All right. Well, this, this thing freaking hit this as soon as I freaking... Uh, as soon as they hit the bottom. This is a chunky little guy. He's not that big, but he's chunky. Third fish of the day. It's still not the fish I want, but you know, I'll take a, I'll take a bass any day. All right, guys, it's about almost two o'clock now and I still have not caught a muskie. I'm getting a little nervous now because I don't have much more time to fish. So it's now or never. I got a fish. Whoa! Guys, this is the biggest bass I've ever caught. Oh my goodness, this is a... This is a big bass, guys. This is... I need a net for this. I need a net for this. Where to get this guy in? Oh my goodness. Yes, got him. Oh my goodness, guys. Oh my goodness. You know, I didn't catch a muskie today and I was just about to give up, but oh my goodness, that's that's the biggest bass I've ever caught. Oh my goodness, guys, that's officially the biggest bass I've ever caught. That's my personal best. This is my personal best. I know it. Alright guys, this is easily the biggest bass I've ever caught. Like Wow. And a half hours late. All right, guys, so I didn't record this happening, but my boat literally went over the ledge at my house. We have a little driveway here, and how it works is when I come bring the boat up, I put it, I, put, I bring my uh, car into the garage, I back the boat up, and I back into a corner here, but the boat kind of lost control, and as you can see, my boat went over the edge here. So now it's kind of hanging from a cliff, so. 
happened last night, but we're hoping this guy can bring it up. We're hoping that we're not gonna have a problem. As you can see, the boat is hanging at least a foot off the cliff right now. A little ledge. See the wheels hanging down. Not a pretty shit situation, but we're hoping this guy can save it. We won't have a problem, hopefully. You better get enough views on YouTube to pay for this. Oh, I'll try. <laughs> boat actually flew off a cliff as you saw off the ledge so now we have to uh, that's the uh, the wheel that holds the boat up is broken so the boat's completely on the ground now besides the trailer so now he's gonna have to lift this up and pull it that way we're gonna hopefully get this fixed this thing looks like a low rider look at that look at that boat low ride The low riding G3. All right, guys. So the boat was saved. Luckily, we got it back on here, and we're gonna live to see another day on the water. I don't know how I'm going to get him in. I got him! Yes! 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 Oh my god. Guys, there it is. There's the first musky I've ever caught. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I did it. Oh, guys. That's my first musky. I know I look like crap right now, but you don't know how good this feels to finally catch one of these babies. Now it's a tiger muskie, so it's still pretty cool, but this is a big fish, guys, and so much going through me right now, guys, that my glasses are off, they look terrible, but to catch a fish like that, guys, is once in a lifetime. All right, there he goes, he's, he's gaining strength. He's getting ready to go down, and there he goes, he's gone. Wow, how exciting that was. I did it, guys. I finally did it, 22 years, but I finally did it, and I don't even know what to say, like, that felt so good, and it was huge, it was crazy, while I was reeling in that fish, I got nauseous, so back of the boat, when I was getting him in, I started feeling queasy, and I think it was just the nerves of me trying to get this fish in, or him breaking off, or, or him, or me not getting him in the boat with the net, but I got him in, 
And guys, it feels so good to finally get that off my back that I finally caught a muskie. It's the only fish I caught today, guys, so far. And I gotta start heading in because it's about to downpour, but we're gonna leave the video here. See you next time.